It's Christmas. December 25th became a federal holiday in 1870. The first eggnog in the United States, however, was consumed in Captain John Smith's 1607 Jamestown settlement. They needed something to help them survive. The poinsettia plants were brought to America from Mexico in 1828. And the Salvation Army has had Santa Claus clad donation collectors ringing bells since the 1890s. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, the most famous reindeer of all, actually started in 1939 as a promotion by Montgomery Ward Department Store. And I don't think we have Montgomery Ward Department Stores anymore, but boy, we should still have Rudolph. Candy canes came about in Germany in 1670 and they were invented to help keep kids quiet in church. So I know, who was it who said, There's no going back. Yeah, it was me and I did just go back. And now, you know what, I'm going to go back even further. I'm going to go all the way back to August and look at what we've done the first 180 days of school. because. We've implemented a digital conversion. We've made dozens of contributions to BT during that digital conversion. We've created over 1.1 million emails. We've created 75,000 files and uploaded almost 23,000 files. There's been over 750 Google Hangouts and over 500 forms. 1,600 new Chromebooks have been used by over 1,400 active users in this district. And you know what? Students and teachers have taught over 50,000 lessons. Smiles and laughs, thousands and thousands of them. Lives touched, hundreds and hundreds. Going backs, that'd be zero. Looking forward, what will you do in the second semester of 2015? We're not going to worry about that right now. My first podcast of the new year will focus on that. So for the next two weeks, you need to enjoy each day because, as Eleanor Roosevelt has said, tomorrow is a mystery and today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. And speaking of presents, remember, Christmas is not so much about opening your presents as it is about opening your heart. And I want to thank every one of you for opening your hearts to our kids every day.